Hello everyone, my name is Bokusatsu and today we're here to, well, talk about Decker Ranger. Why is it my favorite Sentai series? Well, to start off, let's talk about the character. We got Bond the Hothead, we got Hoji the, St Hoji the Stud, or the Chair, I like to call him. We got Sen, probably, probably my favorite character, because after watching it for the third time, Sen pretty much goaded. <laughs> then we got <laughs> Jasmine, my waifu, and Yumiko. The, the somewhat little sister clumsy goof of the team. Then, then, then we got Tetsu, who admits the nonsense himself. Well, duh. <laughs> and uh, and we have Decker Master, aka Kruger, and Strong Son. So let's talk about Bond. Bond is probably gonna be like one of my favorite Red Rangers because, sorry. Bond Park, Bond Park, sorry, not Red Ranger, Senshi. Park, Bond got be probably, probably one of my favorite Red Rangers. I'm calling Red Ranger, forget it. Uh, number one, he's a hothead, yes, but at the same time, he has character. He gets better and better through, like, every episode that goes on. They, 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 like, there are, they're, I'm not gonna lie, there are, like, a few fo good focus episodes focused on Bond. And he realized that his faults... We like we like that his his problems aren't aren't that good when he comes to it. Like what was the thing about oh, thing like episode five and six, he went on a stakeout and he found and he had a crush on one girl and uh <laughs> he messed up big time. But don't worry. But don't worry, next episode he saved the girl and got friend zone. <laughs> I love the fact how yet in the episode when they uh met the uh, I love the fact how yeah they referenced that in reference that episode when they uh when the when the Decker Ranger fought the guy who impersonated their past foes. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, Bond. Wait I'm like, wait a minute, Bond, why do you reference that? Oh now I know why. <laughs> now I know why, never mind. <laughs> Funny though, and also hilarious, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. Ah, uh, you gotta love Bond. <laughs> anyway, so let's talk about Hoji. Hoji is totally different. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Hoji is totally different from Sky. And that's a good thing because while Sky is annoying and a jerk, Hoji's that as well, but yeah, but Hoji, there's like character development, Ben wants to watch SPD, so there's that as well. But Hoji, there's like character development, because we get in the show, he did not want to call Bond his eyeball. But yeah, the final episode, he pretty much made that Bond his eyeball, which I love. There are like a few of my favorite episodes focusing on Hoji. Like, oh, hold on, let me get my notes right here. Did did have a lot of these? Okay, so one of them is uh, one of them is called Perfect Blue. It's silent tel, silent tel, wait, not perfect. Sorry, one of my favorite episodes is called Perfect Blue. Is when uh, Hoji <sighs> was. <laughs> The episode talks about Hoji never messed up in his life, but yeah, we find out that he actually he actually made a, he actually messed up big time for the for the operation. And uh, the next episode, next episode, uh, next episode Hoji cannot stop cannot stop thinking about what not to think about the operation that he failed in. Then we got Bond who come in getting motivation, saying that hey. It's okay, you mess up. We all do. And I won't spoil the scene for you, but go watch it for yourself if you feel like it. But uh, pretty wholesome, uh, if I had to say. <laughs> so, can we talk about Jasmine, my waifu? Well, we are now, so here we are. Jasmine, told, Jasmine is totally different from Z. From Z, her uh, American counterpart. I'll be honest with you. Uh, 
Uh, Z is high and all, but Jasmine though. Dawn! <laughs> not know why she does that, but, but I'm not gonna lie. There are there are weird moments in the show. She points out a lot. She points out a lot of stuff, and and I, I don't know what's going on there. I have feeling I be. I have feeling. I have feeling like one of the writers just just love to make references, references, references to stuff because she makes a lot. She make a lot of references in the show to stuff to stuff that to stuff that I don't even know about. Like one day, like one day about summer and the endo era. Not granted. Not granted. My uh, my Japanese lore on the Endo era isn't good. I I know nothing about it. But uh, she made a reference about about the Endo era one time. Like, wait, wait, what? What does this have to do with? This? Okay, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, also, I gotta say this. Why did the show like to remind me every second that? Jasmine is an expert. Yes, I know. Jasmine is an expert. It's an expert. I know she is. I watched the show two times. Well, three times now. I watched the show two times. I know that she's an expert. This was a point out. This, 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 this was a point out to me. My first and second rewatch of the show. My third one point out to me. And like, I know she's an expert. You don't have to tell me that. Calm down. I get that. See, it's an expert. Just for real. Just calm down, man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I sound like alpha. I sound like alpha of MNPR over here. <laughs> okay, who we talk about next? Let's see. Ah, yes. I'm not done talking about. I'm not done. I'll go back to a character one, once we, once we get to the uh, focus episodes. But let's talk about Yumiko. A.K. the little sister of the team. Now, I'll be honest with you. I did watch the podcast, like what? I think last month? Yeah, last month or this month, one or two. Someone pointed out to me that uh, they think that, in their opinion, Yumiko is the weakest member of the team. And to be honest, yeah, I can see that. But at the same time, I, I actually got to disagree with that because... Yumiko has a Yumiko has a strong part in the team by by somewhat being what the supported type you kinda of say, but also but also uh she's like Bond and that and did not think straight at times and and I love that. <laughs> perfect example is the episode when uh perfect example is the episode when uh she's getting when when there's a mayor proposal, but the episode the episode's called Proposal Panic. It it <laughs> in this episode she talked to Sam about she has a date with this one guy that she'd been seeing for three years. For three for three years. Man, Yumiko. Wait oh three months, my bad. Sorry, for three months, my bad. I will say three years. Yumiko Why have you not married him since? What what is going on with you, girl? What is going on? <laughs> and, uh... It sounds like, oh, so... Oh, so you like this guy, huh? I'm like, Jen. I'm like, Jen. Who the frick's Jen? This ain't time for it. I'm like, Sen. You jealous, my guy? <laughs> you you don't, don't have to be jealous, Sen. You're awesome and all. You're awesome and all, Sen. I like you. But you don't have to be jealous, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh no. Uh that episode that's like pop that if I think about it I think like episode focus why I think I think that could be I think that could be like my uh favorite Jasmine and Sen focus episode because I focus on both of the characters. And also it foreshadows their uh it foreshadows their relationship. For what's gonna happen in the ten year later V cinema in the in the show in general. If you watch if you know about the V cinema then you know and if you watch the uh, the crossover they have with Hey Sage Galvin, then you definitely know what I'm talking about. 
<laughs> I think like one of my other favorite episodes would gotta be talking about Yumiko. Gotta be an episode when she's tried to imitate the like Jasmine. I like the, I, I like the call I like it's, it's okay. It's the episode when uh when that the spice when that the drug that 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 that's basically a spice and uh Kruger sent Bon Hoji and Sen down to the restaurant and uh those those idiots were hungry. Because of that they almost got turned to cow zones. Well, mostly dumplings, I like to say. But uh they almost got turned to into dumplings. <laughs> In that same episode, Yumiko Jasmine got fed out and said, Hey, why are you trying to be like me? Don't be like me. Be like you. No one you don't wanna be like me. And I'm uh, not gonna lie, that was a good episode because number one Yumiko felt a little jealous. <laughs> and number two, I'll be honest with you, that episode is pretty cringy when she tried to act like Jasmine. I just like skip it kind of. Like, okay, not need to see that. It just felt cringy. I, I forgot who wrote that episode. But I'm gonna guess that it's it's Junkie who wrote that episode, Junkie Takagami. Because I know that I know that he like his somewhat light ray uh time comedic episodes because that's how, because he, he because he's the same guy that wrote for uh mega ranger one of my favorite my top five go watch mega ranger it's a good show and uh yeah i felt that same energy here in that episode i think he wrote the episode i think i think of him or the person or the writer that wrote for geki ranger one or two I gotta go back and check on the wiki later, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so this, that, and also the the freaking ending song, "Girls in Trouble." <laughs> we'll we'll get to we we will get to the music eventually, so don't worry about that. So yeah, Yumiko. One of my favorite. One of my like one of like my favorite, uh, Pink Rangers. She's. She's adorable. She's clumsy. She's a goof. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. She's uh, she's hard boiled. You kind of say. <laughs> so let's talk about Doggy, A.K. Decker Master. Not gonna lie, I freaking love Decker Master. His character, his theme song. I will say this. I didn't know about this till it pointed out to me. On a different podcast I was watching. The first couple of episodes, Doggy uh, Kruger's mouth does not move in Decker Ranger. His voice is, you can hear his voice, but not his mouth. I'm going to guess that was an error. With, I'm, I'm going to guess that was an error with, uh, I'm going to guess that was an error on Tony's part because. I'm gonna guess, uh, when he, I'm gonna guess it'd be like, ah, oh, so, uh, his mouth doesn't move, huh? Well, <clears throat> well, we did, well, we did get a couple of complaints about that, and, uh, yeah, they, they fix it, though, because, it, because, because later down, later down, later through, later episode through the whole show, his mouth moves now, which is pretty good. So let's talk about my so let's, so let's talk about like my favorite episode, we could say one of my favorite, but like this this one's like my favorite like Kruger focused episode. It's the episode when uh it's the episode when he when he uh defeat when he thought he defeated a criminal and and deleted him named Benji because Benji kidnapped Shawson aka Kruger is like. I'm gonna say his girlfriend, cause that's that's his girlfriend. Kruger, just saying, my guy. I know you love her, though. It's obvious too. It's funny though. But uh, yeah. This episode, this episode, Kruger, pretty much safe. Well, this episode, the Ranger had to go fight some kind of robot that had like these bombs all over the city. But that's not my main focus. My focus is Kruger. In that same episode, this man morph. 
into into one of the most cleanest cleanest suits ever in Super Sentai history, in my opinion. And his theme song by Psycho Lover, the same guy that did the intro for Decker Ranger. Top, it's fire as heck. I listened to it multiple times. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of prefer the instrumental theme a little bit more. For like, if it, if it, it, because I like the I, I I like the one with lyrics, but at the same time, the instrument the instrumental version, the instrumental version of the song is a little bit a little bit more badass. You kind of say in my opinion. Excuse my language, but uh. I don't know, it just feel like it just feel like smooth jazz for that. And does <laughs> when he morphs when he gets his sword ready, it's just awesome. <laughs> Dagger Math is pretty dope, not gonna lie. <laughs> Emergency Dagger Master Ah oh, man, I freaking love Dagger Master. <laughs> then we're gonna get to before we get to Strawn. We gotta talk about the sixth ranger of the group. One of my favorites, one of my favorites in my top three, by the way. Uh, Tetsu, aka Dicker Break, Mr. Nonsense. Now, now in the first cup, now in the beginning, around like episode 6, 26, I think episode 26 and 27, when we, when, when we get introduced to, when we get introduced to Tetsu, he's kind of a jerk. I mean, like, he's a jerk and all. Because he is being all big and cocky saying, Nonsense, I don't need y'all help for me to take care of them. But meanwhile, same episode, he get his butt warped with another power, another power of partnership. Most, well, mostly friendship. He called Bon Senpai. Not know why you'll call Bon Senpai, but okay. <laughs> but I, was, I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know why you'll call Bon your Senpai, but it's okay, whatever. <laughs> senpai! Why you call him Senpai for Pete's sake? Just why you call him Senpai? But uh, yeah, not know why he'll call Bon Senpai and all, but well, again, the teacher and student relationship, which, which is fair enough. But uh, back, but back, I was saying, if we when we first get introduced to Tetsu, he's kind of a jerk. First he first he uh say first he first he told them to do not follow him. If he if they do, he can make he can get them fired. I'm like, okay Tetsu, okay Tetsu, okay Tetsu, keep saying that buddy. Keep keep saying that. But again, the same episode, he get his butt warp he get his butt warp. <laughs> butt warp, what? He get his butt warp and learn that uh yeah, uh he can't you can't take care of everything by yourself. And uh, and he knew that too. But like, I think like one of my favorite like focus episodes of Tetsu, gotta be the semi finale. You kind of say it's 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 a three part episode because and like what was the episode? What 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 was the episode? What was the episode? Not fifty. Not 50, I think it was forty eight. Not forty eight. Uh, yeah, I think it's 48. Episode 48. Uh, bon, uh, bon got accepted to the fire squad. In uh, that same episode, he talked to Tetsu. I forgot. He, he talked to Tetsu about uh, about how happy he was being a Deca Ranger, being part of the Earth Branch. And uh, in that same episode, Bond got... Bond's, you can take it say Bond got possessed. Well, his body did, not himself, but his body got possessed by this weird, ugly, squid alien. And uh Tetsu knew one thing what to do to save him. He killed Bond. And that was an emotional moment for for me and like for the whole for me and the whole gang. It got to it got to me a lot. Without no tears, not gonna lie. And uh, the atmosphere, the atmosphere, the tension, damn, just damn. And Yuiko was pissed at the tattoo. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? My boy Sand over here came here, came came over there to uh, comfort her, tell her that it's the only way. 
And, and then Tetsu know what we gotta do. He revived his, his senpai, you can say. And uh, yeah. Real talk for a second. I think, I, I think, I think like, I, I think it comes down to why this show is my favorite. It's because of the, of the dynamic of the cast. Because the, I know, I know that, I know that, I know this for a fact that the cats are still like connected to his very day. They act like, they act like family. I know that uh, Jasmine and Yumiko's actresses are doing some kind of photo project, some kind of project together. <laughs> OG's actor's a YouTuber. Since actor uh, reacted to an episode of Go Kaiser for the Deck Ranger, for the Deck Ranger tribute episode for Go Kaiser. Bond's actor just chilling, just hanging alive. Tetris actor being a good husband to Yumiko's actress. Because those two are married, which tell her what? They got married on twenty sixteen. I know that for sure. But uh yeah. So yeah, the deck ranger's cast doing pretty good for themselves. Just enjoying life. Not gonna lie. I, I like that. They feel like a big family. Not they don't have to be not by blood, but yet, but yet, the whole show life. Watch like any, watch like all like Deck Ranger media. The cast for like a oh sorry about that. The cast for like a big giant family, and that's what I that, and that's what I like about it. I want a cast to feel, I want a cast to feel like a family, and deck and the Deck Rangers feel like that in my eyes, and I love that. I love that. Not gonna lie, I actually do love that. <laughs> Maybe right I the Ninja though, so just saying. <laughs> we'll get we will get on to Ninja eventually one of these days, and don't don't worry, we will. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just so let's talk about so let's, so let's talk about the music though. Wait, hold on, before we music, let let's talk about Strong Son, Strong, Strong. What can I think of her? Probably the second mentor of the team. She feel like the mother figure, the mom figure of the group, while Doug is like the father figure. And dang, that's just <laughs> yeah, I like that. I actually like that. Not gonna lie, but also if, I want to say this: why why does Tetsu have a thing for older women? Is it be is it because his uh his superior is a hot is a hot older woman? Uh, because no, I'm not gonna lie, Deccan Nova, Deccan Nova is pretty hot though. I ain't gonna lie, she is. But uh, Tetsu, you good? You good? Do you have a thing for older women, buddy? Because you might need to go take care of that. Just saying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's just me saying that. So back on Strong, Strong actually a good supporting character. So you feel like the second mentor. And, and like and like the mom figure of the team, which is so good, not gonna lie, so good. She feels like that though. She does. And and I like that to be honest with you. I actually do like that. It's like I don't know. When she's when when she's in that once when she's in all those scenes, you know you know that uh you know that uh she makes perfect sense to be there. And also there's context as well. But I'm not gonna lie, the New Year's Eve, the New Year's Eve episode is probably gonna be one of the my least favorite. It's also cheesiest ep the cheesiest episode because that same episode, the Decker Ranger received a present and found some doll saying that I'm watching you all and stay away from her. Oh, here's the kicker. The her part. Jasmine and Yumiko thought that the doll was talking about them, but nope. I. S it was not. I was laughing though. I was like, Jasmine, I'm there for you, girl. I'm there for you. I'm always watching from far, far away. That sounds creepy. Not meant to sound creepy. We did not take that out of context. But uh, yeah, I'm there for you far, far away, my, my girl. <laughs> my princess. I didn't say that part, but I wanted to so badly. <laughs> but no, the. No, uh. The her was talking about Tetsu. And uh. And they thought before, and they thought to talk about Shuan Son. Kruger's like, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Kruger, Kruger protected Shuan because Kruger has a thing for Shuan. Not gonna lie, he does. Kruger, I know you do, my guy. Just, I know you do. You love her. 
you love her because the show been hinted so many times, and I love that. <laughs> Even in the movie end credits. <laughs> oh man. But uh, yeah, that same episode, Tetsu Tetsu impersonated a strong, and uh, we find out we find out who was we find out who was the guy that that gave him the present. So, in uh, the Hoji in the folk in the Hoji focus episode with him and Tetsu and the and with the cast. Hoji, uh, Hoji went, Hoji, uh, went, Hoji went to the boxing, went to the underground legal boxing place, right? And, uh, he personated as a regular criminal, or thug, you kind of say? And, uh, that same episode, there was this guy who was, like, in a, in a normal state, kind of say? A bug? But, yeah, he, he looked like a toad, and, uh, he was not in a, he, he 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 said he was not in a metamorpho state. You kind of say, and uh, in that same episode, in the New Year's Eve episode, he uh he evolved into a bug thing. Okay, so you got okay. So you guys remember that one episode of SPD when when they team up with the Dino Thunder Mon Dino Thunder Rangers, the wormhole the wormhole episode part two. Do you remember that one monster that is that Bridge, Ethan, and Sky were fighting? That's the same monster that wasn't decorated, that was in love with Tetsu. <laughs> A weird episode, not my favorite, but it was it was cheesy at the same time. It wasn't meant to be taken seriously, so I'll let I'll let it get a pass. So let's talk about the music before before we don't talk about Umbrella. Because I got a lot to say about Frieza. The music for Decker Ranger. What can I say about it? I think my I think like my I think like I had to think about it. My favorite probably got to be Decker Ranger action and Decker Ranger drop mode because those two are pretty awesome. You know, by the way, Psycho Lover, Psycho Lover sang both these songs, and my God, like Psycho Lover, this guy. <laughs> I know that Psycho Lover wrote for like other Tokusatsu music, but uh. Here, it sounds so badass. God damn, <laughs> it just sounds so awesome. I don't know what to say. It just does. Sorry, but it's true though. Just, just don't add me. So uh, yeah, it just sounds so awesome. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just dang, just dang. Just sounds so awesome. He also sang Decker. He also sang a uh, Decker Masters theme, and uh, that's pretty badass too. Not gonna lie, my favorite. It's like this that Decker Ranger action, and the Shrop Mode theme as well. Those are my favorite. I I I I, I, I I'm not gonna lie. I enjoyed Decker Breaks theme. It's okay. I have I have not listened to it a lot because at time. The, the show did not play his theme a lot. Uh, some episodes they do, but yeah, it's just mo it's just not it's just not it's just not a lot. So I gotta go listen I gotta go listen to that song a bit more, but uh Yeah. But uh yeah, I'll come back to you about that one day. So it's it's an okay song. Not not my favorite from the from, from the soundtrack, but uh yeah. So let's talk about uh so let's so let's talk about the theme song. <laughs> the theme song, same as Psycho Lover, a banger. Because every time with that theme song playing, you know that you know that you have a good you have a good you you, you have a good show in a banger theme song. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It's my favorite though. And the the and the ending song Girls in Trouble Midnight Decker Ranger. One thing I will say that I love about, about the Dead Ranger movie, I, I love that movie, I really like it. In the beginning of the, sh in the movie, they sing the outro song for uh, Dead Ranger. In the, when, uh, when Jasmine and Bond go to this one bar. Hold on. <sighs> Sorry about that. And that's... In this one scene in the movie, Jasmine and Bond go to investigate in this one bar, and uh, Bond came in just in time to hear the 
hear the in outro singer sing the theme song. And I see what Toby did there. Not gonna lie, I like that. Good on Toby for doing that. So let's talk about girls in trouble for a second. I got, I got, I got, I got because I'm not gonna lie to you. Girls in trouble. Girls in trouble. It prob. It's not a bad song. It's catchy, but uh, when I first listened to it, I uh didn't like it. Cause I thought it was weird, like weird. Not like weird, weird, but not like really weird, weird. But like, I thought it was weird. And because of that, I have like I have more respect for the Magic Rangers outro because that's catchy. Yeah, I like it at the same time. Here, it's just okay then. <laughs> but uh, the more time, the more time, the more time I listen to that so to that uh song. The more time I listen to that song, the more and more I like it, you can say. I know, I know, right? Is, is it in my top 10? Probably not, but I like it. But, I'm not gonna lie. I actually like how, I actually like the, I like, I actually like the, uh, the movie version of the song. But yeah, it's not called, a uh, called movie version Deck Ranger. When all six of the Deck Ranger, when all six members of the Deck Ranger team, Deck Ranger cast, sing the song. But, yeah. But yeah, a movie version of it, and uh, it's really good. Not gonna lie, I like it. Not gonna lie, I like it. <laughs> so let's talk about my. So so before we go on to Frieza Umbrella, Angel Umbrella, before we go on to him, let's talk about let's talk about some of my favorite focus episodes. Because oh boy, we have a lot to talk about. Now we talk about uh. uh Yumiko Senwan, which I love. But let's talk about uh, one of my favorite, like, Jasmine-focused episodes, which got to be... Sorry about this. <laughs> which I have, like, uh, well... This... What, 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 what happened to my notes here for a second? What the heck? Uh, okay, here we go. We have, like, two. Episode 27. Unst episode 27. Funky Prisoner. This episode is about this episode was about two bros. One one took the frame for another bros for another <laughs> So we had this bird, right? And this bird acting pretty weird when uh when Tetsu and Jasmine you are using him for a vex for a, for an investigation. And he went to all these weird places like the carnival, the the washing store not the the uh the the store where you, the the freaking store where you go wash your clothes I forgot what it's called my bad and uh and uh yeah pretty weird though but yeah at the same time he's like well bad cut this act out and he told Jasmine everything you know in that same episode he same episode in the same episode he about same episode, he about to kill a friend that that uh that that he took the bait for. Jasmine told him, "Don't have to do this." I'm like, "Damn, just damn." Excuse my language, by the way. This uh podcast, you kind of say, will have some language, but do not do not do not use these words at home, kids. If you're listening. While well, well, getting down, getting down, reviewing a kid show, but uh, yeah. So uh, dang, just dang. I don't know what to say there, but just dang. Is it heartwarming and brigandy? Yes, but just that 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 scene was just oh, man. She convinced him that she convinced him that he she, she convinced him that. She convinced the bird. I forgot. I forgot his name. By the way, please forgive me. I forgot his name because I did not focus. I did not focus on his name to be honest with you. Because at times it's so hard for me. It's so hard for me to pronounce and pronounce these names because one, I'm not Japanese. Two, I try my two. I do know. I do know. I do know how to pronounce some Japanese names, but not a lot. So please forgive me about that. But yeah, 
she told the bird she told the bird she told the bird guy to uh don't have to be killed like your friend over here and uh he listened not gonna lie <laughs> that was like a hard one scene not gonna lie <laughs> then so let's so let's talk about uh well, well before before we go before we go to episode thirty five I will say Kuga did tell Jasmine that uh He's uh he's not fully on. Uh, he's not fully on. He's not fully in prison. He got some parole, so so that's that's, that's a good ending for him. So episode thirty five, my favorite like Jasmine focused episode. What? So the episode take so the episode began when uh in a uh, on a dark stormy rainy night, when someone shot this one man. And, and don't worry, don't worry. I'll keep talking about that. But uh, the episode, then the episode, then the episode uh focus, well keep going, showing the next scene of the deck ranger entering the scene of the crime, and uh, and I forgot. I think the murder weapon was there, but uh, I think it was, and uh. In that same episode, in that same moment, the next scene, Kruger tell Kruger tell Kruger get a phone call <laughs> from an old friend, a detective, he kinda say. And he called Kruger a Wookie, a Wookie, a Wookie. I'm like, wait, a Wookie? Wait, what? Kruger was like, uh 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 like wait, rookie? Wait, what do you mean by that, Kruger? What do you mean by that? <laughs> and uh, it's pretty funny though. Not gonna lie. <laughs> and uh, so while the detective waiting for a transportation, which is Jasmine and Bond, Jasmine and and Bond appear right behind him. And told tell him the name. He's like, huh? You know. He looked at Jasmine in a weird way, and we'll see why. And I'm not gonna lie, I like I like this episode because 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 he told Jasmine that she looked like his daughter. His his daughter, and I'm gonna guess that uh, I'm gonna guess that uh, I'm gonna guess. That the detective married a expert, an expert, because he said that he said that she looked like his daughter. Also, I'm gonna guess that in the flashback that was Jasmine's actress playing the detective's daughter. In that in that in that same episode, he went in the same episode he went back to the scene of the crime that killed his daughter, and uh, Jasmine told him she's. Jasmine told him that she's the esp that she's the expert, and uh, he didn't believe her until uh until like uh he ch until like, he showed her, and uh in the same way so, uh, he tased her and on the con and put, knock her he tased her and put her, and made her unconscious. He only did that because well he cares for her because again, he said that she looked just like his daughter, <laughs> and uh. Dang, this that was like a heart that was like a, a heart moment when we seeing but like but yeah, not but if one yeah, if one good moment in that episode but not not my favorite moment. We'll we'll get to that. Hold on. But uh we find now who to kill her. We find out who to kill her the episode. It's a detective because he's doing all this to avenge his his dead daughter. So he went after the guy that shot his daughter and uh and, uh, yeah, and, uh, he was, he took out one guy, and, and the other guy said, oh, wait, hold on, we can talk about this. And the tech's like, oh, just like how, oh, just like how y'all killed my daughter? Well, I mean, no, exactly. And if they know, uno, 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 I don't know what, what the heck, what the heck do you even mean? I don't know. That they know, oh, what's this? And for this, the uh, the kill, well, the guy that uh killed his daughter had a gun, shot a bang, ah, my arm, 
He said, what, he said, what fun attack? They're getting a little old for your age. And he shot him. Jasmine and other came in just in time. And uh, Jasmine stayed with him while, while the other were, uh, while, while the other were, while the other were taking care of the shooter. <laughs> and, uh, that was like a heartwarming scene with Jasmine was standing, was standing with him. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It felt like if, oops, sorry, it felt like that he was talking to his daughter there for a second. And that that was like that was like so good, like damn. And see that she was heartbroken too. Not gonna lie, she was like heartbroken. Then Kruger came, said, "Jasmine, Jasmine, go take care of you. Go help the others. I'll go bring. I'll go get a detective to uh, I'll, I'll go get a detective to the nursery." And uh, yeah, that's what yeah 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 that's what happened next. Uh, Jasmine came out pissed as bad as that's how as she is because she's my queen. And my God, this woman was mad as heck, and I don't blame her. <laughs> she gave this man the smackdown of a lifetime. One day I'll say. One day I'll say, you don't you don't piss off Jasmine because just like with Sen, Jasmine is like a nice person, right? Her and Santa are nice, right? Are, are like, her, and Santa, her and Santa are like the two nicest people on the team. But they will get mad and pissed off if you mess with them. They do not want you do not want to get on the bad sides. On the bad side. Especially Sen, because Sen will ho ho Sen will mess you up big time. <laughs> sorry people sorry people heard that, but yeah. Sen will mess you up big time. <laughs> But uh, at the end of the episode, they defeated they they defeated the guy that they they defeated the uh, well they defeated the uh the the killer that that killed detective's daughter. In the same episode, detective went to jail for for what he did. But in the, end, but in the final scene, Jasmine said "Papa," and detective like "Huh?" <laughs> he was laughing a little bit, and then the episode ended. Not gonna lie, the reason, the reason why I like this episode is because number one, it focuses on Jasmine as a character, and I like that. And uh, I don't know, it just, it just felt, it just feels like that. It just feels like, it just feels like that it should have been like, it just feels like that it was, it, it was meant to be focused and hitting towards me for my favorite episode. You know, just like with a hard boy of blue. <laughs> It just both are good, both are both are like very emotional. If I if I just say, I did. Do you like one? Do you like no? Do you like uh? If I had to say, if I had to say this, I don't think I have like a favorite like Bond focused episode. I don't think so. I, well, I, I try to I try to get two, but three, but uh, try to get three, but uh. One of them had to be episode five and six, when Bond Bond went undercover and he messed up big time because he's flirting with a girl he had a crush on. Bond, no offense, buddy. Bond, no offense, but my guy, you should think with your head instead of your you know what because that down there ain't gonna help you, buddy. Just saying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just I don't think I like, I don't think I have like a favorite Bond focused episode. I try to think of it. I try to think of it, but I don't think I have one. If if I think about one, man, well, there's the one. Well, the only one I can think of is only one I can think of is the one with him and the alien pig. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about when him and the alien pig was riding the bike like E. T. But other than that, I don't think I don't think I don't think I don't think I, don't think, I, don't, I, don't, I can talk. Other than that, I don't think I have like a uh, favorite Bond episode. That's sad to be honest, with you, but well, it's whatever. But for Tetsu, my favorite episode, part, my favorite episode, of, my favorite episode from Tetsu probably got to be where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Mirror Revenger, written by Junki Takagami. So for this, though, so this takes place after the episode they fight Slick. 
well, if you watch SPD, you know who Slick is. That's what I'm calling him because Slick was the guy that was personated the Decker Rangers past enemies. So, yeah. <laughs> this and then in the next episode, in in that pre episode, it gives a backstory about Tetsu, about about Tetsu and why he did not like the uh he did not like he did not like I forgot what I forgot what they called him. It, what the heck was his name in SPD? Cause I totally forgot though. Murloc, yeah, Murloc. Yeah, we're gonna call him Murloc here. Uh, Murloc and Decker Ranger. It's the he's the killer that killed uh Tetsu's parents. And uh, Tetsu. Uh, in that same episode, in, in that episode, Tetsu Murloc said that, "Hey, uh, hey, uh, I'm gonna torture you and your friends. You know that, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna torture all y'all. Just wait." And the way, and the way how he does it is pretty genius. I'm not gonna lie. What remind me of SPD, in there. First, he went after Jasmine and uh, not Jasmine. First, he went after Sen and Yumiko. <coughs> Sorry about that. Then he went after uh, Jasmine and Hoge. Then he went to Bond, and and one in the, in the same episode. In the same episode, Hoge, it's the final like battle kind of stage between the two of them. It was between Tetsu and Murloc and Murdoc Murloc. It wasn't Murdoc or Murloc. Yeah, Murloc. Okay. Listen, Ben Watson, Ben Watson was SPD, so I'm, I'm just gonna call him by the SPD name to make it very really easier and quicker for me, so. Yeah. Tetsu and Murloc were fighting, and, uh. And Murloc, and Murloc, Murloc pretty much put SPD, like what happened oh, in SPD. He said, Oh, hey, let me show you your friends. They're part of my collection. And. And you can see all five of them are getting tortured at the same time. Same time, they're getting an emotional speech, like emotional speech that's always like, hey, uh, you can't defeat us, you know that, right? I'm like, wait, what? Oh, yeah, I can't. I just tortured all five of you. Y'all are in my mirror world. Great. Let's just make sure that, let's just make sure that no spandex common riders are in there fighting. You know what I mean. And don't worry. I will talk about Ryuki one of these days because... Oh boy, Ryuki is gonna be a fun. Ryuki is gonna hurt my head as well. So uh, yeah, let's go out there. So uh, yeah, let's let's go on. But uh, same episode, Tetsu had the motivation, and he managed to defeat his parents' killer. And yeah, that's when his that's when his uh, theme song is playing too. Again, right? See, I'm not gonna lie. His theme song is pretty awesome that episode though, but at the same time, I just don't hear a lot of the show. That 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 was, that just breaks my heart. They they don't play his theme song. Right? They play the instrumento, which is cool, but at the same time, they don't play like his actual like theme song, with the lyrics a lot. That 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 just breaks my heart though. So uh, let's talk about let's talk, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. so uh, let's talk about umbrella, shall we? Umbrella, Agent Umbrella, A.K.A. Frieza, the slimy, the slimy, uh, cri the slimy d bag, we can say. So Umbrella reminds me of Blue Drink from SPD. They both are mad as heck that they lost a lot of money in the by, by the by the Rangers and Decker Rangers, and they are not happy about that. They are one percent not happy about that. And, and, and what did both of them? What did both ver? What did both of the kid? What, what did both versions of the kid do? Well, it's not like they just went went and in, went into SPD base and just took over. Oh no! But that, yeah, that's exactly what they did. But Umbrella over here was saying. Y'all, y'all, you decorating just mess up big time. Make me, make me lose a lot of money. So because of that, y'all getting karma. And you can tell. 
And you can tell that his voice actor, well, he played Frieza. You can tell, you can tell that, you can tell that his voice actor was having a fun time. And, uh, <laughs> and also, I want to say it now. I, I don't think anyone knows it, but, uh, for those that, for those that like Umbrella, his voice actor was in New Pew Sentai Ninja. Wait now, wait now, no, not Nipu. Shuriken? Wait, what? What the heck? What? What the heck was it called for uh, Ninja? Hold on. How do I know that? Oh god, I don't know why I know that. Yeah, Shuriken Sentai. My bad. Shuriken Sentai. Ninja and Ninja's bad. I ain't gonna talk about that. I ain't gonna talk about that show. <laughs> I would talk about why I hate it, but if okay, 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 <laughs> I will make if this if, if this like if this like first episode get like a lot of love, I will make a vid I will make a podcast, a whole entire podcast of me talking about why I do not like Nin Ninja, but here's the thing, I'm gonna torture myself next time because I'm gonna. Because the next show we'll be watching is it, special. You'll see what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Back to Umbrella. Umbrella basically saying, Hey, y'all messed up. And I want my money now. <laughs> he just he just making some good old cash. And what happened? Oh, uh, our spandex superheroes destroyed all his money. And he's not happy about that. Shoot, that was me. I'll be mad as well. I'll be mad as well, too. <laughs> He just want his money, but no, it's all destroyed because of what the Deck Rangers did. In Blue Rain, the exact same way in SPD. He and I like Blue Rain. I'm not gonna lie, how they mess up. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, they kind of kind of mess up with care at the end, but again, then I gotta go back we watch SPD f to see this through. But uh, <clears throat> but uh, yeah. The final like episode of Deku Ranger itself, to be honest with you, is like in my top five favorite favorite like Sentai endings. I don't talk I don't talk about like I don't talk about like my top five. I don't talk about like Sentai ending, but like if I if I had to make a list of my favorite top five Super Sentai endings, it has to be uh not Kiryu. It has to be uh Mega Ranger, Deku Ranger, Magi Ranger. Probably Shinkinger and uh let's see, let's see. Maybe we soldier or Kiri or Kyuj. Not maybe we soldier in uh Kiryuger. I mean Q Ranger, my bad. And uh in Kiri Major as well and Zenkaiger. Gan then Gan then though Gan then I will talk about Zenkaiger eventually, but uh <laughs> Yeah. But uh, yeah, the fate that 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 yeah, that uh, final episode was really good though. And after after the defeat Umbrella, Kruger appeared and uh, and uh, he's proud of all of them. Dang. <sighs> Dang. That Granger, that Granger is like, they're like, okay, they're like, okay. We can say I can say this Van for the doubt. <sighs> there are times that uh. There are times that modern Sentai tried to act like its predecessor from predecessor from Heisei and Showa, but yeah, it just doesn't click. Sentai like Sentai like uh Zenkaiger and Kid Major, well Kid Major, Kid Major, Kid Major, Kid Major man to hit that exact spot with me. To be honest with you, so I was like, I get past. And I love Kid Major, one of my favorites. But like, but like Sentai like Zenkaiser, not Don Brother, Don Brother just started. Sometimes like Zenkaiser tries with me. I like the show, don't worry. Don't, don't get me wrong. Let me say this. I like Zenkaiser. I think it's a good show. But at the same time it's not like it's not like it's not like it's not like for me though. But I mean by that that Weiwa like at times Weiwa at times like Togu not not for me. I like Zero One. I think Zero One was a good show. Again I do have problems with it. Saber was Saber was alright. I don't I don't I don't like fully hate it. 
I do have, I do have I do have my two cents my I do have my two cents of problems with Saber. Brave Vice is really good. Again, Dan, I know that I know that I know that the Tokyo community did not like the latest episode. I liked it, but that's just me. But at the same time, but at the same time, modern like Toku for Reiwa, it's hit and miss for me. Except for Dawn Brothers, I'm liking Dawn Brothers. I'm hoping Dawn Brothers, I'm hoping Dawn Brothers hit my like top five, top five for Sentai. Maybe top ten, who knows? But uh, yeah, yeah, Sentai like Dawn Brothers and Kid Majors are exceptional because because those two because those two because those two shows pretty much called me. Pretty much said, yeah, these two are meant for me. And K Major and K Major for me K Major to me hit me personally for multiple reasons as a human being. But uh But uh, yeah, it's just I wish I wish Mana Toku who I wish Mana Sentai was Mana Toku be like be like Heisei's Toku. Just like ban click ban hit the hit for me. But uh, it just doesn't. It just doesn't. Except for Dawn Boy and Kid Major, but the same Kai just same Kai just didn't like made in my top ten, top five. Well not 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 in either of those, but uh yeah. <sighs> but uh yeah. So what did I think of Dick Arrangers a show? <sighs> Dick Arranger is a special one in my eyes. I think my I took my nostalgic my my hidden my nostalgic my nostalgic goggles are off the chain. Lol, JK. Pun intended for those who watch Kiva, but uh, my my nostalgic goggles are off, and I can say that and I can say that one hundred percent and benefit of the doubt. I love the show. Yeah, there may be a few problems here there with the pacing. I'll be honest, I'll be honest. At times the pacing was just boring, but at the same time, it's. At the same time, show, at the same time, I can't, I can't be mad at that because the show came out around two thousand four. The show came out around like two thousand and four, so this that, as well. And in the in the show, and the show get better. The show get better and better with the pacing as it go on. So this that, this that as well. Lovable cast, good villain, good thing, good soundtrack. Oh, damn, I can't. I can't hate a Decky Ranger. It, it, it'll always be a fan favorite in the community. It, 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 my favorite Sentai. If anyone asks me, anyone ask me, hey Broku, why are you? What are your big three Sentai? Well, not Sentai, but Toku show for a platter. Come right and build Toku Sentai Decky Ranger and Ultimate Z. Don't don't like my big three for for like a for like the big giant Toku platter. Add a little bit of mashed add a little bit of decade for your mashed potato. Then 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 then, then you got me then you got me. Then you got yourself then you got then you got me while my top four favorite Toku show and those and those are my top four. But uh yeah. What did I think of what did I think of Decker Ranger's show? Deku Ranger is a wholesome show that is just had a lot of great moments and and the cast really, the cast really nailed it. Some episodes are hit and miss here and there, but uh, yeah, the writers, the the the, the, the writers really did the writers, the directing, the cast, everything about the show is just special to me because it is. It might be a little bit biased, yes, but at the same time, it's just. I love I love Decker Rangers the show. I can't hate on it. Well guys, that's it. That's my review of Decker Ranger overall. I'll give it an A because this show is just that good. Tune in next time when we uh talk about one of my not so favorite Toku shows, Lupin Ranger vs. Pato Ranger, cause oh boy, I'm gonna need it. Well guys, tune in again. Ciao.